Huh? What's the thing say? <laughs> I don't know. What's the, look down there and you'll see. <laughs> How do you feel? Surprise. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. I don't know if it's real or how accurate it is, but I didn't feel very good today. <laughs> My period was 10 days late and it says I'm pregnant and I don't know if it's real. I think it's real. I don't know. I'm going to drink a lot and take another one to see, but yeah. I just wanted to document in case it's real because, well. Hello, it is the next day. It's actually Andrew's birthday tonight, so I just got dressed and ready to go to dinner. It's actually so cold, hence the turtleneck. It doesn't really go with this since it's like a box neck, box neck dress, but it had a low. When I woke up this morning, it was like 32 degrees and I live in Florida. I, like, I didn't even get to 32 when I lived in LA. So it was very cold. It's in the 40s right now. So just put on a little turtleneck under this dress. But I thought that I would show you a little bump update. I'm at 23 and a half weeks, show you what I'm currently looking like. I feel like I went a while, like most of my pregnancy not really showing. And then the last like three weeks, I feel like I've grown so much, so fast in the last three weeks. So I'll show you a little bump update. And then I thought I would sit down and kind of go through some of my first trimester symptoms and do a little recap. All right, this is where I'm at right now. You can kind of see, it's hard to tell on the camera. Let's see. Yeah, that's what we got right now. Yeah, there you go. You can see right there. So definitely starting to show. Um, yeah, that's what I look like. Okay, I pulled up my laptop and I have my glasses because I do not remember all my first trimester symptoms and I cannot read without these. So I just thought I'd go through them. The number, I guess like two, these are kind of the same, kind of different. The number two things that I had so badly during my pregnancy were nausea and throwing up. This is actually how I found out that I was pregnant. I don't think I shared when I filmed yesterday, but basically, I was a couple of weeks late on my period. I didn't really think that much of it because I actually got off of the birth control pill three months prior to getting pregnant. If you guys have seen any of my PCOS videos, I've kind of mentioned it in videos and I've done a few shorts on it, but I was trying to get the pill out of my system and naturally balance my hormones rather than being on birth control. And so my first month being off birth control, I got my period the exact day I was supposed to, like 30 days later. Or 28 or whatever it was I was like oh my gosh I did it but then the next week I was two weeks late and I was like okay I did not do it maybe this didn't work so then the next month when I was two weeks late again I just thought my body was really messed up I was actually really upset at my body and didn't even take a pregnancy test because I just thought my hormones were really messed up but then I went on a walk. It was, let's see, I found out in September. So it was still fairly warm out. I went on a walk and I came back and I felt really out of breath, which was very odd because I walk an hour to an hour and a half every day anyway. And so that was odd for me to feel out of breath from that. And then I took a shower and I got so overheated in the shower and it wasn't like a super hot shower or anything. And then I just started throwing up so much. And so I was like, okay, I'm out of breath, I'm overheated, I'm throwing up, and I'm two weeks late on my period. Let's just take a pregnancy test, let's just see. And I actually, we were going to dinner with my mother-in-law for her birthday. So I threw up, I got dressed, we went to dinner, I came back and I took the pregnancy test and that's when I found out. So my point is my nausea and throwing up that's how I found out that I was pregnant was from getting sick. And I basically did not go a day after that of not feeling sick up until maybe six weeks ago. I would say after Thanksgiving was when I started to finally feel better. And I wasn't just like, oh, my tummy hurts or I don't feel super good. Like I threw up multiple times a day, every single day for like four months straight. 
Um, basically just worked and lied in bed and couldn't really keep any food down. I actually lost quite a bit of weight in my first trimester because I was really sick. So those were the first two symptoms I wrote down. I kept this list throughout my first trimester, so anything added later was kind of experienced later in my first trimester. And then, as you can see, those were the first two things I wrote down and that stayed consistent throughout. The next thing I wrote down was just very tired. That's pretty normal in pregnancy. Well, so is, so is morning sickness, but yeah, just exhausted. I would nap on my lunch breaks. I would sleep like 12 hours a day. I just slept a lot. Okay, the next few things I wrote, I don't feel like, I feel like I experienced them like one time and so I wrote them down and then I don't, I don't even know if I should share because I didn't actually experience it that much, but Okay, sorry, somebody was calling me, but I'll just touch on them briefly. Basically some, you know, bowel differences of either a lot harder to go than it was previously, or I was going a lot more if you catch my drift. I don't really wanna uh, go into more detail than that. But basically my bowels were a little abnormal in both directions. Um, and a little bit of cramping, but not really. I know they say if you're cramping and you're bleeding, that's something to be of concern, but I never bled throughout my pregnancy and it was just like a little bit of cramping in the very beginning. Um, and then just discharge. I feel like even now I'm just constantly like discharging, I don't know, just random things. So that was definitely something I experienced. I was having acne in the beginning. Um, there was like a day, I think it was only one day, but I wrote it down where I had brown spotting. I do remember freaking out because again, if you're bleeding, that can be a big cause of concern, especially in your first trimester, that's a sign of miscarriage. But I just had a little bit of brown that one day and then I didn't have it after that. Something that happened actually quite a lot is I would have blood in my spit after throwing up. I think I just threw up so much that I was really damaging my throat. And also, I don't know if I wrote this down, but um, my teeth, like I felt like I got like six cavities after I finally started feeling better because I just threw up so much that my teeth felt disgusting. Obviously I brushed my teeth, but not great for your teeth. So that was another symptom. And then just kind of like a lot more gassy than normal, but like more in my stomach, like more just like gas cramps in my stomach. I had a decent amount of abdominal pain more towards the end of my first trimester. I think this is probably when I started expanding a little, even though I didn't show until really the last few weeks, I think. Um, I don't know like it would feel like my abs were sore like it did work out but I didn't do a workout I actually did not work out I've hardly worked out throughout my pregnancy once or twice a week if it's a good week but I was so sick that I really did not work out and then I just felt like I was so behind and had so much to catch up on that it's been a challenge to prioritize that but Anyway, that's a whole nother story, but that's what it kind of feel like, like my abs are sore. Um, okay, and then I went through a phase where I had really dry skin and lips. I don't, I don't really know anything about that, but that happened um, sometimes when I would blow my nose, like blood would come out. I know my sister, when she was pregnant, she had actual like bloody noses. I, I never had like a straight up bloody nose, but I would see blood in my nose when I would like blow my nose or whatever so that was something a lot of excess saliva like I just constantly I still feel this way like there's so much in my throat that even if I don't feel sick I feel like I don't know like I need to throw up or gag because I just have so much excess saliva and like snot going down um okay and then there were some times where I was feeling dizzy especially towards the end of my first trimester I think I was just not getting a lot of the nutrients that I needed because I was barely eating any food like I remember at the time thinking about what I was eating and what would stay down and I maybe was eating 
like 800 calories in a day, which is like half of what I typically would be consuming. That's just estimated. I obviously was not tracking my calories, but I definitely was not getting the nutrients that I needed in the first trimester. So I think that's a lot of why I felt dizzy. And I also was getting a lot of hair loss. Like there was a point where there was even a little patch in the back of my head of no hair. And I think that was a mixture of, again, not getting the nutrients that I needed, but also my doctor said that even though most people experience hair loss after pregnancy, it's also common to experience that during pregnancy. So I just think I was one of those people. But now that I'm in the second trimester, I feel like a lot of my hair has grown back, which is awesome. Um, and then the last thing that I wrote down was just upper back pain. Even though my stomach did not grow until later, my chest started growing right away. And with having a larger chest, I was just getting a lot of back pain, but like upper back pain to support it. So those are all the symptoms that I wrote down for my first trimester. I think I'm going to end this video here. We'll just keep it short and simple with an announcement, a little bit of footage that I took at the time, thumb update, and all the symptoms that I experienced in the first trimester. If you guys like that, I can do it again for the second trimester. And then I'd love to say for the third trimester, but we'll have a baby at that point. So I don't know when I'll be posting again once the baby's here. But yeah, if you guys have any pregnancy questions or any questions about PCOS and getting pregnant or symptoms or anything like that, definitely leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment and I'll see you in the next one.